one adult male inside with a gun, tan jacket. He has a knife to a subject's throat. A scary scene Friday night at the Dollar General store in Limerick, where an armed robber was shot and killed by a York County Sheriff's deputy this morning. Officials released that it was a local teenager who was killed, 16-year-old Christopher Camacho. The medical examiner determined that he died of a single gunshot wound. Now, we're not getting a whole lot of information yet from police, um, but as you heard there in the initial 911 call, uh, it indicated that somebody was in the store being held hostage with a knife to his or her throat. Now, the suspect also reportedly had a gun. Now, the fatal shot was fired by York County Sheriff's Deputy Robert Carr. He has since been placed on administrative leave while the Office of the Attorney General investigates further. So, what happens now? News Center Maine, Samantha York breaks it down. Anytime there is an officer involved shooting in the state of Maine, it immediately gets handed over to the Office of the Attorney General for an investigation. This year, there have been eight officer involved shootings here in Maine. Two of them happened last week. Another two took place at the end of November. The other four happened all within a month of each other earlier this year, between the end of April and the end of May. All of these cases are now in the hands of the Attorney General's office. Its job to determine whether the use of deadly force was justified. Now, according to these documents, the protocol for the reporting and investigation of the use of deadly force here in Maine, all of the evidence is handed over to the AG's office. They perform a completely independent investigation using that evidence, statements from witnesses and interviews with the officer in question. And once they're done, they will release their findings. It can take weeks, even months. Now, earlier this year, state legislators actually signed off on a bill that would create a new review panel for officer involved shootings. They're tasked with evaluating the AG's findings after it completes its evaluation of each deadly force case. The panel would have 15 people on it, including average citizens, current and former law enforcement, even mental health professionals. Their findings will be released in an annual report, something no other state in New England is doing yet. We can expect the first report from them in January of 2021. According to the AG's office, we won't be hearing much more about this last officer involved shooting in Limerick until the investigation is over. But something interesting to note here, the AG's office has never found an unjustified use of deadly force in the last 30 years it's been investigating cases. In Portland, I'm Samantha York, New Center, Maine.